Hello students, we are doing chapter number 7 percentage and its application and today we will start exercise 7.3. In this exercise you will get problems based on discount. So first we will discuss basic terms related to this exercise and formulas related to this exercise. So first thing we have discount, discount means reduction in price and discount percentage means reduction in price for 100 rupees according to the 100 rupees whatever we will get that is the discount percentage. Next we have the mark price, whatever the printed price on article or the listed price, catalog price, advertised price these all are the other name of mark price will call as mark price. And next is selling price, after giving discount whatever the price we will get that is the selling price. So selling price is mark price minus discount for example. Uh, suppose an article mark price is 100 rupees and we are giving discount 10% on that. So mark price minus discount 100 minus 10, 90 rupees will be the selling price. Next if mark price and selling price is given in that case how to find out discount? Discount is the difference between mark price and selling price. And how to convert this discount in percentage, discount, per, discount percentage is discount by mark price into 100% because discount is given on the mark price so here always mark price will come. The same formula, this selling price is equal to mark price minus discount, we can change into this form also. In place of discount we can write D percent of mark price, D percent means the discount rate of percentage here which we can write d by 100 of mp and this mark price we can take out common we will get 1 minus d by 100. So this formula also we can use or directly also we can do the questions. Next thing is successive discount, Success, successive discount means when more than 2, 2 or more than 2 discounts we are getting on article. For example, suppose when item is there for 100 rupees, first we are giving discount on that, that 10 rupees. So selling price will be 90 rupees. Again one more discount we are giving 10%. So again 10% of 90 rupees means 9 rupees discount again. So this type of discount we will call the successive discounts. For that we have formula selling price is equal to 1 minus D1 by 100, 1 minus D2 by 100 of MP. If you have 3 discounts, so add one more bracket here, 1 minus D3 by 100. Now we will do exercise 7.3, question number 1. Find discount and the selling price when mark price is given 575 rupees and discount is given 12%. So first we have to find out discount. This is given discount percentage, first we will find out the discount. Discount is given. 12% of mark price. So 12 by 100 percent means by 100 of means multiply 575 rupees. We can cancel out with 5 table 5 to the 10 and 0 as it is 5 1 1 and 5 times. Again one more time 5 4 to 20 and 5 2 and 3 times. With 4 you can cancel 4 1 to 4 and 4 3 to 12. This 3 and 23 you can multiply. So we will get here 69 rupees. It means discount is here 69 rupees. Next we have to find out the selling price. Selling price is equal to mark price minus discount. Mark price we have 575 rupees. From that 69 rupees we have to subtract. Then we will get 506 rupees selling price. Second part printed price is given printed price means mark price only 12750 rupees discount is given 8 whole number 1 by 3 percent. So first we will find out discount in number discount is equal to 8 whole number 1 by 3 percent of mark price. This we will change into the improper fraction 8324 plus 1 25 by 3% of 12750. Now percentage symbol when we will remove in denominator 100 will come. Of means multiply 12750. 10 we can cancel directly 
now cancel with 3 table 3 4 is 12 3 2 is 6 and 3 5 is 15 then we can multiply these two and divide after multiplication we will get 1 0 6 2 5 by 10 we can write it as 1 0 6 2 point 5 0 because uh, we are talking about the money so up to two decimal place we have to represent so this is the discount now we have to find out the selling price selling price is equal to mark price minus discount mark price is 1200 750 rupees from that this discount we have to subtract after subtraction we are getting 1100 687 rupees 50 paise next question number 2 find discount and discount percentage when mark price is given 780 rupees and selling price is given 721 rupees 50 paise so discount is equal to mark price minus selling price Mark price is 780 rupees from that you have to subtract 721 rupees 50 paise and after subtraction we are getting here 58 rupees 50 paise as discount. Now we have to find out the discount percentage. So discount percent is equal to discount by mark price into 100%. So substitute values 58 rupees 50 paise divided by 780 rupees into 100 percent. So when we will multiply with 100 this two uh, decimal will eliminate. So we will get 5850 by 780. 10 we can cancel out then we can cancel with 3, three table 3 2 ja and 3 6 ja 18, 3 1 ja then 3 9 ja and 5 ja. Again we can cancel with 13 table, 13 2 ja, 13 1 ja and 13 5 ja. So 15 by 2 percent or we can write it as 7.5 percent. Second part, advertised price means market price is given 28,500 and selling price is given 24,510. So first we will find out the discount discount is equal to mark price minus selling price 28500 minus 24510 after subtraction we will get 3990 rupees is discount now this we have to change into percentage so discount percent is equal to discount by mp into 100 percent so discount we have 3990 rupees mark price is 28500 into 100 percent two zeros directly we can cancel now we can cancel with five table five five ja 25 then five seven ja and up also we can cancel five seven time nine time and eight times Again we can cancel with 3 table, 3 1 ja and 9 ja, then 3, 2, 6 and 6. Again with 19 we can cancel 14 times. So answer is here 14 percent. Next question number 3, a notebook is marked at rupees 30. Find the price a student pays for a dozen notebook if he gets 15 percent discount. So here marked price is given. 30 rupees discount percentage is given 15 percent so directly we will find out selling price for one notebook first selling price is equal to 1 minus d by 100 into mp so substitute values 1 minus discount percentage is given 15 15 by 100 into 30 rupees so this one we can change into the like fraction we can write it as 100 by 100 minus 15 by 100 into 30 so 100 minus 15 means 85 by 
hundred into thirty. Zero we can cancel out. Eighty five into three will become two hundred fifty five by ten. So this will become twenty five rupees fifty paise. It means the selling price for one notebook is twenty five rupees fifty paise. But we have to find out here for one dozen. One dozen means twelve. So therefore, selling price for one dozen in bracket you can write twelve notebooks is equal to twenty five rupees fifty paise multiply by twelve, which we will get three hundred and six rupees. Next question number four. A dealer gave nine percent discount on an electric fan and charges rupees seven twenty eight from the customer. Find the mark price of the fan. So here this seven twenty eight is the selling price because customer is paying this one. Selling price is given seven hundred and twenty eight rupees and discount percentage is given nine percent. We have to find out the mark price. Same formula we will use. Selling price is equal to one minus d by hundred into m p. Substitute value seven twenty eight is equal to one minus nine by hundred and m p. We have to find out seven twenty eight equal to this one. We can write as hundred by hundred change into the like fraction. So this we will get hundred minus nine is equal to ninety one. By hundred into MP, we can change both the side. We can write ninety one by hundred MP is equal to seven hundred and twenty eight. So mark price will be seven hundred twenty eight into hundred by ninety one. Shift ninety one and hundred another side. It will reciprocal. From ninety one you can cancel. It will go eight times. So eight into hundred will become eight hundred. Rupees. So mark price of the fan is eight hundred rupees. Next question number five. The list price of an article is eight hundred rupees, and a dealer is selling it at a discount of twenty percent. Find the selling price of the article and the cost price of the article. He he makes twenty five percent profit. So first part we have to find out the selling price and list price is given. So it means mark price is given here eight hundred rupees. Discount percentage is given twenty percent. So we can use formula here. Selling price is equal to one minus d by hundred of mark price. Substitute values here. One minus twenty by hundred into eight hundred. So here this one we can make hundred by hundred same denominator. Hundred minus twenty will become eighty. Eighty by hundred into eight hundred. So we can cancel out these zeros and eighty into eight will become six forty rupees. It means the selling price of article is six forty rupees. Second part we have to find out the cost price. Now we know the selling price is six forty rupees. And profit they have given twenty five percent in question. So profit percentage is twenty five percent. We have to find out the cost price here. We can do it by shortcut method. Cost price and selling price. If we take cost price hundred rupees, then selling price will be with twenty five percent. It will become one twenty five rupees. Now cost price we have to find out and selling price already we know six forty rupees. For the article, we can cross multiply. One twenty five x is equal to hundred into six forty. This one twenty five we can shift another side, and it will go for division. We can cancel out twenty five four is a hundred and twenty five five is a one twenty five, and five one two and eight times. Now we can multiply four into one twenty eight. It will be five hundred and twelve rupees. Next question number six. A shopkeeper marks his good at such a price that would give him a profit of ten percent after allowing a discount of twelve percent. 
if an article is marked at 2250 rupees fine hits selling price and cost price this is also like similar last question uh, here market price is given 2250 rupees and discount is given 10 per 12% so first with the help of market price and discount we will find out the selling price selling price is equal to 1 minus d by 100 of mark price substitute values 1 minus d is here 12 by 100 into 2250 rupees now make the denominator same one we can write as 100 by 100 minus 12 by 100 into 2250 rupees so it will become 88 by 100 into 2250 rupees so 10 directly we can cancel and 88 into 225 we can multiply we will get here 19800 and we have done in denominator so again we can cancel out this 10 and we will get 1980 rupees is the selling price now second part we have to find out cp with the help of the selling price and given profit we can find out cp so selling price we know it is 1980 rupees and profit percentage is given 10% in question we can use here shortcut method cost price and selling price if suppose cost price is 100 rupees then selling price will be with 10% profit it will become 110 cost price we have to find out let it is x and selling price is 1980 rupees cross multiply 110x is equal to 1980 into 100 110 we can shift another side it will go for division 10 you can cancel out 11 1 ja and 11 8 ja so the value of x cost price is here 1800 rupees so in this video we will do till here remaining questions we will continue in the next video Thank you for watching this video.